Hey guys, so today we're going to be unboxing and putting together one of the newest upgrades for the Prusa MK3 3D printer. That is the multi-material upgrade. So let's open it up and take a look. Not bad. Pretty good packaging. Lots of saran wrap around the outside. Got those gummy bears, just like last time. Awesome. Nice booklet. Got micro USB to regular USB. Nice little like motor driver board, I'm guessing. Filament trays. Got the motors. Parts. Some nut and bolts, and some more parts, and a hose. Okay, got all the parts out, got the instructions up, let's start building. Okay, just finished the first part of the build. It was just basically updating my MK3 to the newest version of everything. So I guess they've changed a lot since this thing first came out. So I'm updating new sleeves for these guys, some new extruder mounts and stuff. Everything went pretty smoothly except for I messed up cutting one piece. But so now it's time to start putting together the actual multi-material extruder. <laughs>
Okay, so the printer is fully assembled now, and it's working for the most part. Now the assembly had two parts. The first was updating my printer to the newest version of it, since my MK3 is pretty old. I love how they included that, because it kind of brought us up to the newest version of the model, which is awesome. The second part was assembling the multi-material unit. That was a little bit harder to do. I thought the instructions were a little bit scarce, and they're missing some parts. But I figured it out, and it's kind of expected for something that's this new. So hopefully it'll get better in the future. The next step was trying to get all five materials loaded into the printer, and this took forever. Some tips I have is make sure you cut the beginning of the filament at a nice angle so it can get fed in easier, and make sure the beginning six or so inches is completely straight so it doesn't get jammed when you're putting it into the, the unit. So I finally got all five materials loaded and I was ready to make a test print. So I went out to Pruch's website, downloaded some G code from the website, threw it in, and it wasn't working. And I was really pissed off, but I realized I downloaded the G code for the previous model of the multi material unit, not the 2.0. And I don't have any G code for this version on the website. So I had to use Slicer PE, make my own G code, which is pretty easy to do. Slicer PE has had a lot of cool updates from the last version, and I really like it now. And I finally got my first print to work. Over the last week and a half, I've done a lot of test prints, and they've come out pretty well. I have the issue about halfway through, they get jammed, and it stops printing. But after you manually unjam it, the prints come out pretty well, and it's hard to tell there is an issue halfway through. I also have the issue of it printing halfway perfectly, then the remaining half just print white. For some reason. Don't know why it does that. I think a lot of these issues are probably firmware, and in the future they'll get fixed and the printer will become a lot more reliable. I've also tried printing with PVA, the dissolvable support material, and I've had some issues of getting jammed up in here. But I bought some BVOH support material, which is a little bit higher end, which will hopefully fix that problem. After watching a lot of YouTube videos by Zero Calvin and through my own experimentation, I come up with a couple steps that might make your printer work better. The first one is don't over tighten the compression springs on the multiple tier unit, or else it might cause the idler barrel to skip steps and load the wrong material, which is bad. The next one is make sure you really tighten the gripper pulleys on the drive shaft, or else they can come loose and it's a real hassle fix. The last one is when you're calibrating the distance for your Bowden tube between the multiple tier unit and the extruder itself, Set it a little bit longer than it says in the directions, so it'll make the loading and unloading a little bit easier. After I fixed all these, the printer worked a lot better. Still not perfect, but it's a lot more manageable now, which is good. So as of right now, the Multimaterial Unit 2.0 is not the best product. It's hard to use, hard to put together, not the most reliable. But, when you get all five colors to work in one print, it is amazing. So I think given some time, some new firmware updates, this printer is going to become awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.